Hello, this video will show you how to use the match, unique, and n distinct function. To start off, we'll create a couple uh, example data sets. All right, you're going to see uh, set A, you know, just 5 through 10, set B, 5, 4, 7, 8, 9, 11, and then set C, just 5 through 10. All right, so we'll run this. You can see here. Uh, we printed out set A and set B. All right, now we're, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to use a match function to compare set A to set B. Uh, now this is just an example, but you could literally do uh, if there's hundreds of, uh, of numbers in each set. You can see here by using the match function, we'll be able to see here that the second uh, numbers don't match. All right, this, they have six and then a four, and in the last uh, the last column, uh, you have a mismatch of ten and eleven. If you want to know how many don't uh, don't match, you could use uh, wrap this around uh, the isNA function, and then wrapped around the sum function. So if we run this line of code. You see two, all right? We have two uh, two numbers that don't match. All right. You could also use the identical function, so that's going to give you a true or false, um, you know, when comparing both vectors. So we could see here uh, in for comparing set A to set B, and then we're going to compare set A to set C. So if we run this chunk. We can see set A and set B, it's false, right? It doesn't, they don't, they're not identical. And set A and set C are identical, as you can see up here. Um, they are identical. Uh, this is what I mostly use when I'm initially looking at a data set, and I want to uh, see if there's any discrepancies, and maybe there's some, I was told that some of the data match, you know, some of the columns match match up, but they don't. Uh, right, and then you could use the end distinct function as well from the dplyr uh, package. So we'll count all the unique values. So we're going to set here uh, just another uh, data set, right? Set of numbers. We'll say set D, and then we'll see how many unique, right? Because we have five numbers how many unique values do we have in this data set? So we could use the end distinct function uh, to know that. So you can see here we have three, right? We have a five, six, and the seven are all the unique values. Uh, now you could use the unique uh, for, uh, function to remove any duplicates. All right, so if we run this, right, we say we use unique in the set D, right, which is five, five, six, six, seven. And what you're going to see here is by wrapping that around unique, it's going to remove any any duplicate values. So you see, now we only have five, six, and seven. All right, so you can use. You can use the, uh, the names function in combination with identical or match function to check if columns, column names are, are similar. Uh, I use this a lot before I'm using uh, rbind. Maybe I'm, I'm combining uh, two or three different data sets that you know, I assumed were identical, so I was just going to create a union. Uh, so we see we're going to use the iris data set to see this. Let's say iris1 and then iris2. So we could see using the identical function, the name of iris1 and iris2, uh, you know, identical, you know, yes or no. Are the column names identical? It is true. All right, and then using the match function, you could see that every column name matches. So we're going to go ahead and we're going we're gonna to change one of the column names in iris2, right? We'll change it to wrong. Now if we run this, we should get a false. And then the match is going to tell us which column 
is not correct. All right, so we can see here it's false, right? The names of both data sets do not match. And you can see it's the first column uh, that doesn't match. All right, this is probably the, the function that I use the most. Uh, you know, uh, we can remove duplicate rows in a data frame with the unique function. All right, so we create, um, we're going to use the R bind, right? Iris 1 and Iris 2. And if we run that and we do a unique, a unique around that data frame, it's actually going to remove all the duplicate rows, uh, which could be, uh, it's great for cleaning up your data, right? If you want to remove any, any, any duplicates. All right, so you can see here, uh, we had 300, and uh, the number of rows after the unique function was 149. Uh, if you want to get a copy of, of the script that I wrote out, it will be on my webpage. I'll link it in the description below. Thank you for watching.